The Prime Minister has taken aim at Stuart Robert as Labor launches its Fadden campaign on the Gold Coast. It's the second by-election battle between the major parties this year and Labor isn't shying away from the fight despite the seat's blue ribbon reputation. Despite being at long odds, Labor is in the fight to flip Fadden from blue to red. And can I welcome Letitia? As the Gold Coast electorate prepares to head to the polls on July 15, Labor is launching their returning candidate from last year's federal poll, Letitia Del Fabro. Letitia understands that running in a safe LNP seat, this area has never been held by federal Labor, is hard work at the best of times. After shrugging off protesters before meeting business leaders in the Gold Coast, the Prime Minister, along with Miss Del Fabro, fast-tracked their launch on the light rail, focusing on household issues. And this stop is where Letitia Del Fabro uh, works here at Griffith University as a nurse educator. Now, when you think about the Labor Party, you think about education and you think about strengthening Medicare. The by-election was triggered by the resignation of former Minister Stuart Robert. And as the race heats up, Labor is targeting Mr Robert personally for overseeing the unlawful robo-debt scheme. That's the sort of person that Peter Dutton thought was good enough to serve in a senior role on an ongoing basis in his shadow ministry. And that's the sort of candidate that the LNP thought was good enough for this local community. A negative attack line focusing on the outgoing MP and not his likely replacement, Liberal candidate Cameron Caldwell. I don't know Cameron personally, but I think the Gold Coast deserves better than the LNP. But the federal government is setting low expectations as the seat has been held only for a single term by Labor more than three decades ago. So we know the odds uh, are against us in this seat. That's the truth. The margin is a healthy 10.6% for the LNP, and while there's no expectation that Labor will flip the seat, they're hoping for a swing towards them to damage Peter Dutton's leadership. Lots of people around here vote for the LNP. They vote for Peter Dutton, Australia's worst health minister. They have an opportunity to send the LNP a message, to not take Fadden for granted. Lauren Forbes, Sky News Gold Coast.